guys, this is back to the back today on part 2 on how to build a small cruise ship in Minecraft. So, yeah, it's just another day. But for me, fun fact, it's just like I'm I'm still editing for part 1. So, yeah, I haven't uploaded part 1 yet for me, but for you, at least. So, if you see, this is where we ended up last time. So today we will do the propeller and the aft. So this is the bow, this part is the bow, and this is the back part is known as the stern. So if you have like a world edit, take wooden pickaxe and do right click here. So yeah, right click. No left click, I mean sorry, it's left clicked. Left click or right click, I don't know. Then you go to the other pillar, and if you see so I took a right click here at the top go to the other go all the way down put one block here then left click or right click I don't know so then this whole area is like on selected then do stress stress stack by I'm just gonna guess 60 first so stack with the 60 wow big lag Nope, um, I'll just do 80 now because she's a small ship. If you have a big ship, you need to stack her all, almost all the way till this end area. And by the way, I can just turn this area in right now because I forgot to. So, yeah, this area in. This is actually the end where the ship will end. So, um, I think we need to do from 80 to 90. Okay, uh, 100 then. So, for me it's 100, but for you it can be like 90, 80, it's just different for... So if you have a big sh long ship, longer ship than me, you need to have a longer on... So, if you see it's like, let me guess, 8 blocks. And do 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's perfect. Then you take the if you have red or you can have blue or any color, but if you're red like me, um, on the last before the white, just put the block there. Then another block because we're going to build the stern today or now. So the stern is the back part, and if you see there's a lot of type of stern, it's just straight stern, um, angled stern, or really crazy stern like um, Symphony of the Seas and stuff. But um, I think I will do just a really small simple stern just a angled and more angled top maybe why not so then put one block in uh then two like this then two then two then three why not all the way so if you see come to the middle of the ship so this is the middle of the ship just do this i'm sorry <laughs> So yeah, that's the beginning of the stern, so, um, I, what kind of stern? Um, okay, why not just do like, four, like one, two, three, four, up, in, one, two, three, four, in, one, two, three, four, in, one, two, oh, and I forgot these two blocks, yeah, delete these two blocks because, if you remember at the front of the ship, those two blocks are actually for the superstructure. So if they have actually the floor, so we actually can go here to delete these two blocks. Take this one after you delete these. Take this one, fly all the way back here. Do one block below the set zero. So that part's uh, gone because that's for something else. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, it's kind of messed up here. So one, two, three, four, four. So okay, never mind. I won't have this this time because it's kind of like one, two, three, or one, just one, two, three because three. I hope this time it will work a bit better. One, two, three, at a small angle because I forgot to extract this side. So, like that, I think. So, then if you award it, you take this white block here, 
fly all the way over there. Left click. Then come down there. Um, then you need to stand. I did it kind of wrong. Okay, okay. So first, I just will move this. No, I can't. Okay, never mind. Well, I can. Okay, first, I will move this. T slash slash. Move by one. That's why. So I can stand over here on this block. T slash slash copy. Move one block here. T slash slash paste. And that did actually not work. Okay, never mind. Oh, I forgot. Okay, I have. I see. Select this area again. Fly over here. T slash slash copy. T slash slash paste. Yeah, there we go. So then you need to go. Just follow this area in. So all the way over here. I'm just doing it for making it quite a bit faster because yeah and there we have the under no the whole um, the whole stern I can't talk right now I wanted to do it because again I just finished the first part recording and editing so but it's exporting right now so set set with lowercase smooth squat so there we have the um, the what's it called the stern. So now we begin on the propeller part, and if you've seen under ship, it's really on a steep angle, like on a long angle. I mean, so one, two, three, four, five, so five blocks. So if you want to do for five on the red. Go one down, one, two, three, four, five, or that's six, yep. Then one, two, one, two, three, four. No, that's five, okay. I can't, I can't even. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Then take this block out, go over here. Because we don't need this part actually, so set zero. So if you see this part is removed, so we can copy this area in, and just the same like this part, but now t slash copy, t slash paste, paste over here, paste, paste is working up, paste. Paste, 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 paste. So, yeah, we have started on the um, yeah part. So, if you see, you might have this problem that's because when you remove it's just like a um, box that is just removed. So, if you go here, you can remove so. One two, one two three. One two three four. This is for my stern design because your can actually be really different than what I'm actually doing right now. Again, because so now we can delete this part with one over there because that's for the design or how it looks because it just looks really good. Trust me, it will. So that's the underhold part. So then we will go here. So one, two, uh, make three. Go in by one. One, two, three. Then okay, that's a really hard. Have like this design. It's quite really hard actually to explain. I'm super sorry if you don't understand. It's really hard to actually explain how to build ships. So yeah, fill this area in now because you don't just have a hole here, you need to fill this area in with the block of choice. I put red terracotta there because the unroll is red terracotta and I suggest putting red terracotta. It just looks better in every single way. <laughs> so it looks this smooth. Okay, um 
so there is the I don't know it's like a border but for I don't know like splashing waves I don't know but there's also the stern thrusters so I can go and pick the block so iron block gold block then iron bars because we do exactly the same but this time at the back so I will again put uh, I, th I think it was two holes, yes two holes because she's a small ship, she does need a lot of back power. And by the way, if you have an Azipod ship, don't put these in because Azipod ships don't have um, stern thrusters. And uh, just put these in here. Oh no, that's. Then again, put these, not like this, just this. Then fill these area in. I know it's quite small space to work on, but yeah, don't complain. So this ship will be a uh, stern, no, no, not stern, a uh, shaft propel because if shaft propel they have stern thrusters, but not st uh, stern thrusters or as put. And actually, can show them this ship. I haven't shown yet, so I will show you how as it was look. So. This is a pod motor. If you see a pod motor, and if you see on that or chip of someone else, that stern or a shaft, this is a pod. These just make it more maneuverable. And these are not more like modern ships nowadays, but this ship, I don't know when this ship was made. And a smaller ship in Tandu have a uh, shaft because a smaller ship are small and they are quite speed actually. So, yeah. Then, Put pillars, um, these quartz pillars. So I want to get. So then pull out this pillar because this is the shaft of the ship. The and here it should be smooth. So it's right smooth. Or you don't need a smooth um, sandstone, but I suggest if you're not, if you don't have smooth sandstone, use normal sandstone. But don't use like um, wood, but yeah. Then you put the block here. Then one, or actually, I will. Yes, I will do that because. So put one smooth sand there, then just make like a small uh, plus sign. And I know it doesn't look. I know it doesn't look that good, but this is just not the uh, propeller. If. Okay, this is a uh, really hard, not the hard but complex propeller, just looks really good. Put on the top block of the plus stair, put one stair like this. Then on this, uh, right under the stair, put one upside down block like a stair like this. Then put like a this. It would, the propeller would just look amazing. So, from here, if you have this block upwards, then this block would be like that so then upside down upside down facing the other way so now this stair block will be upside, upside down this upside down here and forward like that it's really hard to explain it's so hard so yeah and that is the propeller it looks quite good actually it's quite big for this size ship but it just looks amazing this propeller and you just can see this propeller right now and now we'll make the render the things that make the ship actually maneuver itself so just make a uh, block like this right in front of it go all the way down at the end of the propeller then do this then uh, take a stone wall block thing go over here put this here so yeah, that's the rudder of the ship and that's how the ship turns so put the button here because it just looks cool I can just clean this inventory up then put take stairs and put this time normal quarter there because um, it would just looks look really good then upside down on the pillars and then put a normal stair above the upside down I can show you 
to then put um, like a upside down stairs on the yeah normal builder. So it's just uh, how the shaft holds itself into place. So that's actually the stern of the ship. And well, all of the stern of the ship actually have something called a logo, a cruise ship. A cruise company logo and OECL actually have those. Um, I think it's on this that trip. Um, I don't think. Come on. Okay. I think it she doesn't. No, nope, she doesn't. So take a blazer rod and you might wonder why, but it just like it just helps you building. So if you have a blazer rod, hold the blazer rod on your hand. Right T slash replace. Then it puts any color of your cruise line logo, but like not every cruise line has the logo on the back. Um, like Norwegian uh, cruise lines and Royal Caribbean have those, and OECL also. And make your own logo because, yeah, I will show you how the OECL logo. So it's blue concrete, but you don't need to have blue concrete actually. Okay, um, never mind. I did not. So, um, then make your logo in like this area, not that like right here, like in the middle. So, I'm gonna just quickly will the OECL logo. So, there we have the OECL logo. Um, it's kind of really above. Oh, you know what? I don't like having the logo there. On the small ship, it just looks odd. So I can delete this. Okay, but if you want to uh, put uh, your um, logo there, if you want, but I'm not gonna. It's just your choice. Um, so yeah, we actually done with this turn. It's quite easy actually. So we're gonna flip this turn. Um, if you see, it's not at the red line. So it's one block out. It's okay actually because you know what? I'll actually add um, what's it called? A uh, duck tail. It just makes your ship look ten times cooler. And yeah, so put. Um, like your block of choice here, the white block of choice. Then take the block of choices uh, stair, so it's it's this stair, so and just put this stair right here. And duck tail just looks good on ships. It just add like a, a small personal ship. So that's our duck tail, really small actually. More fun fact, I'll actually just. And there's a lot of time. If you search on Carnival Panorama, it she has a big duck tail. Like Viking Sun has a big duck tail. There's like different types of duck tails actually, so it's just your choice. I'll make a quite small one because well, the ship is quite small and if you're building a small ship with a duck tail, I suggest making a smaller duck tail because it looks better. And it's just a small detail of the ship. Then slabs, why not? The smooth slabs. So it just adds some kind of look. I don't know really how, but yeah, that is the small detail of the ship. Then one, if you remember at the front there, there's like markers right above the bow thrusters, but at the stern thrusters there's also so I can take blue. And a button like we did at the last episode. So yeah, two blocks up. Two, one, two, three. So yeah, and this time we actually can put also a marker for the stern, like the main propeller. So um, I'm just gonna maybe put, like make a hole there. So there is the um, my stern complete. So we can actually flip the ship again. So, um, yeah, go to this point, and and yeah, if you don't have play on the P on the server that isn't that good or like doesn't tolerate a lot of lag, I suggest not 
like uh, flipping ships or pasting ships because your piece will crash and yeah so put a mark here position one fly all the way to the bow she's a quite long ship right now or quite small ship but it takes quite long time to fly over there put another mark here at the top at the tip top in the middle of the ship don't put it here don't put it there at the middle of the ship remember that stand in the middle look at that area like right there t slash copy flip to the other side if you built on that side first flip to this side but i built on this side first so flip here so t slash flip t slash slash paste so yep i think it just pasted in yep it's pasting in boom and yeah it's not the best turn but it's a small trip turn so that's the stern with the duck tail and if you want to see the propellers there is the propellers two propellers i should just having two propellers on ships because ships nowadays have two propellers i've never seen a ship with just one or cruise ship with one um so again i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you want to see more of this series and um, please like subscribe and see you next time uh, bye